Sairam children, I hope you all are doing well at your places. So children, today is your English period. And today we are going to do English grammar, chapter number 9, punctuation. Okay? Now children, what are punctuations? Let us see. A set of symbols and marks which are used to clarify meaning in texts are called punctuation. What is punctuation? Set of symbols. There are some symbols, some marks which are used to clarify the meaning in any line or any text. Those are called punctuations. Like some common punctuation marks are comma, full stop, question mark and exclamation mark. These all are some common punctuation marks. Okay. So let's see comma. See, this is the sign or this is the symbol of comma. This is the symbol of comma. It is made like this. Okay, it is made like this. It is a comma. Okay. Now, next is the full stop. Full stop is just a dot. It is just a dot like this. Okay, this is a full stop. Okay. Then, the exclamation mark. How is an exclamation mark made? Just put a line and put a dot below it. Put a line and put a dot below it. Draw a line and put a dot below it. This is an exclamation mark. Now last is the question mark. How is question mark made? This is a question mark. This is a question mark. The question mark is made like this. Okay. Now let us learn the use of the basic punctuation marks. Okay. Use of full stop. Where do we use full stop? We use a full stop to end a sentence. We use a full stop to end any sentence. Any kind of sentence you use it to end that sentence. For example, I love to eat ice creams. I love to eat ice creams. So children, here you can see that here is a small dot. So it is a full stop. It is a full stop. Okay. Now is the use of comma. We use a comma to separate a series of words or phases. Where do we use a comma? We use a comma to separate a series of words or phase, phrases. Means uh, some words we want to separate those words as, or a series of words we use a comma there. For example, John completed his homework, took off his clothes and went to sleep. Now there are two, three uh, works done here like John, what did he do? He completed his homework first, then he took off his clothes and then he went to sleep. So, two words or two jobs like John completed his homework and took off his clothes. So, we separated these two sentences by a comma. We separated these two sentences by a comma. So, here we have used the comma. Okay. Now, use of question mark. You know what is a question mark? We learned just now. This is a question mark. So, use of question mark. Where is a question mark used? We use a question mark to end a direct question. Whenever you ask any question to anyone in written form, we use a question mark. We use a question mark whenever you ask a question in a written form. For example, where is your house? You want to know uh, the uh, name of the, uh, the place where that person lives. So, you are asking where is your house in written form. So, you have to put a question mark at the end. You have to end the sentence with a question mark. Okay. Now, use of exclamation mark. We just now learned 
what is an exclamation mark this is an exclamation mark and what is the use of exclamation mark it is used to express strong feelings or emotions such as shock anger etc okay where do we use exclamation mark uh, it is used to express strong feelings or emotions such as shock anger etc for example example wow those flowers are so beautiful it means you are super excited you are very happy to see those beautiful flowers so you are saying wow those flowers are so beautiful so what did you do you put a exclamation mark here then whenever you ask for help when you are asking for help what do you say please help me so then at the end of the sentence you have used the exclamation mark okay children so this was all the use of all the punctuation marks let us revise it once again use of full stop we use a full stop to end a sentence for example i love to eat ice creams okay then use of comma we use a comma to separate a series of words or phrases for example john completed his homework took off his clothes and went to sleep okay then the use of question mark we use a question mark to end a direct question example where is your house then use of exclamation mark it is used to express strong feelings or emotions such as shock anger happiness etc okay so for example wow those flowers are so beautiful you put that exclamation mark over there then please help me then you have ended the sentence with a exclamation mark with an exclamation mark this was all about the basic concept of punctuation we'll learn more in the next video till then revise it again and take care